All right, guys, we're going to be doing a mystery unboxing today, except we already know what it is. I mean, it says so right here. Check that out. Realme 9 Pro Series. Open the box to hashtag capture the light. And it's actually already open, so I already took a peek inside. And there you go. We got a bunch of stuff. Start with this thing right here, of course. Realme 9 Pro Plus. Okay, we're gonna put that here for a little while. And over here we have what appears to be a sunset lamp because it says so in the box. Let's open it. What the heck is a sunset lamp? Anyone have any ideas? Because I've never had one before. Okay, so this is a sunset lamp. Check that out. Oh, and there's a stand. Okay. So I guess you screw this on. Okay, so I just connected it to a power bank. Let's try to switch it on. All right. So, oh, it's bright. Okay, check that out. I feel like I'm Iron Man or something. And you have some gels here so you can change the color of the light. So the box came with a few notes. Hey squad, are you ready to capture the light like a pro? Realme the Feach, number one smartphone brand for 2021, set to unveil its latest number series innovation to the Philippines on March 15. So guys, mark your calendars. If you're watching this after March 15, well, you already know what happened to the launch, so congratulations. As our trusted partner, we are excited to give you exclusive sneak peek on the Realme 9 Pro series. All right. Uh, so on and so forth, we have the hashtag capture the light, hashtag Realme PH. Okay, so here's a look at that card. And we have some sample shots. Wow, these shots look amazing. One of the things that we are going to expect from the Realme 9 Pro Plus is the flagship level OIS camera. So according to the sheet, the Realme 9 Pro Plus comes with a triple rear camera module and the main camera has, get this, a 50 megapixel Sony IMX766 camera with OIS or optical image stabilization. It apparently is a flagship level camera and that is the highlight or one of the highlights of this phone. One of the things that I found weird with the Realme 9 launch is that we're coming out with the Realme 9 Pro Plus and the Realme 9 Pro. There's also a Realme 9i, but I couldn't find any information about the Realme 9. That left me wondering, could it be a marketing tactic or are they reserving Realme 9 for a launch that's going to happen later on? But in case you were wondering, the Realme 9 Pro and Pro Plus both have 5G, while the Realme 9i is a 4G phone. So the Realme 9 Pro Plus is the highest variant and that is what we have right here. So let's check out the box. Wow, guys, I just couldn't help but notice that the package is heavier than other phones that normally come in this size of package. And I'm guessing that the charger may have something to do with it. This phone has a 60 watt super dark charger. So let's clear this table and let's go ahead with the unboxing. Sealed Realme 9 Pro Plus, ready to be destroyed. Let's go. So here's our first look at the box. Comes with the standard Realme yellow packaging, but we do notice this black line at the bottom. Kind of gives it a more sporty, edgy look. The back tells us the main features of this phone. Sony IMX766 OIS camera, MediaTek Dimensity 925G processor, 90 hertz super AMOLED display and 60 watt super dark charge. 
All right, here we go. One, two, three. Let me guess. Welcome to the real me family. Yep. Let's embrace a new journey. Not interested in that. We're interested in this phone. Color of this phone is Aurora green. I'm not a big fan of green, but let's see. Okay. Still not a fan of green, but I don't know if the camera is going to do justice or video is going to do justice. But wow. It's like a hologram or something. There are multiple layers. There's like a layer of what to me resembles a nail polish. And then there are vertical lines which in a way looks like an aurora. And that's where the name of the color comes from, Aurora Borealis or Northern Lights. I would have wanted the sunrise blue version. There's supposed to be something magical about it. According to Realme, they call this the light shift technology or light shift design. If you hold it under ultraviolet light, it's gonna change color from blue to red. And that is gonna fade in about two to five minutes. It's not new technology per se, I actually have a t-shirt that changes color under sunlight, but it is the first time that I've heard or seen something like it in a phone. So kudos to Realme for coming up with creative ways to spice up their phones. But hey, why did you give me a green phone? I really wanted the blue version. With a back design like this, I don't think I would want to hide it under a case. And this, by the way, is supposed to be one of the thinnest Okay, of the Realme numbered series, it's 7.99 millimeters thick, and if I'm not mistaken, well, all the other phones in the numbered series range are around 8 to 8.9 millimeters thick. Apart from the back design, which to me is very unique, I've never seen anything like this before. Of course, you have this rounded rectangle camera module right here. So you have a 50 megapixel Sony IMX766 main camera with optical image stabilization. Then you also have a 8 megapixel ultra wide camera as well as a 2 megapixel macro camera. Looking at the bottom, you have standard layout, speaker grill, USB type C port, and of course a 3.5 millimeter audio port. So according to the spec sheet, we are blessed with a dual stereo speaker. So I'm guessing the second speaker is going to have to be this receiver which lines the top edge of the phone. We have a notch type screen right here and this phone supposedly comes with an under display fingerprint scanner that also functions as a heart rate sensor or heart rate monitor. Since we already have a under display fingerprint scanner, the power button doesn't have a fingerprint scanner, it's just your standard button. Then the other side you have the volume rocker as well as a SIM tray and we are getting a dual SIM tray. You get dedicated SIM slots for two nano type SIM cards. Unfortunately, this phone doesn't have an expansion slot, but we do have 256 gigs of internal storage in addition to the eight gigs of memory. So let's power up the phone and then move on to the rest of the package. Realme logo. Okay, no sound. Hello. Android 12, Realme UI 3.0. Okay, this is something new. I'm guessing this comes with Realme UI 3.0. You get a prompt in order to sign in to Realme services. So we're gonna go ahead and try that now. We're gonna select gestures and we now move on to unlocking method okay so this is the setup screen for the fingerprint scanner we're gonna test that now that took a while but hey 
Let's see how sensitive or how fast we're going to be able to unlock this phone. Welcome to Realme UI. And there you go. Realme UI 3.0 home screen. Screen looks good. Super AMOLED display, 6.4 inches. All right, first thing we're gonna do is test the under display fingerprint scanner. One of the things that I noticed while I was testing the under display fingerprint scanner is that you can't exactly unlock the phone immediately after you've locked it. You have to wait like one or two seconds before the fingerprint icon comes up. And that's the time that you can unlock the phone using the under display fingerprint scanner. But if you want to be able to unlock the phone right away, you can just press the power button again and press the fingerprint scanner. The 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display looks very good. Colors, very vibrant, very nice display angles. And most of all, 90 hertz refresh rate. By default, it's set to auto. So if you want to take advantage of that 90 hertz high refresh rate all the time, you can just go to system settings and choose 90 hertz so that it's running at 90 hertz all the time. The phone does have a bit of a chin still. So the bottom is a lot heavier than the top. It's not as symmetrical as what you would find from more premium flagship phones. Despite being a mid-range phone, the Realme 9 Pro Plus does pack a very capable chipset. That's the MediaTek Dimensity 925G. And I look forward to testing that in the benchmark and in games. So let's set this aside and go through the rest of the box. So here's that packet we took out when we first opened it. And of course, free jello case right here, which we're not gonna use because we really like the look of that photochromic back design. We have the quick guide and important information guide that is not so quick. That's why it has its own manual, which of course we're gonna throw away and not read ever. Pin removal tool. Okay, so here's that 60 watt super dark charger and as expected, it is heavier than all the regular chargers out there. And I'm guessing that's because of the quality of the components that are used inside. It's also slightly bigger in size than your regular chargers. So here's that USB Type-C cable and that's everything. Now we're gonna go and take some sample photos using that 50 MP Sony IMX766 main camera that we've heard so much about. I'm gonna take some photos and then I'm gonna show them on the screen so that you can judge for yourself if you like what you see or not. I'm gonna go ahead and test that dual loudspeakers that we've also heard so much about. Wow. Not bad. Loudness is there. There's some bass. 
not so much of course this is a very small chassis definitely better sounding than just having single bottom firing speakers so hey it's a huge plus for this phone. Okay, so it took me a while, but I finally found that heart rate monitor that we kept hearing about, and it's under the settings page. We're gonna test that right now. Okay, so this is the heart rate monitor page, and as expected, it uses the under display fingerprint scanner. We're gonna try to get our heart rate right now. Wow, I can see the number going up and down. So it seems that heart rate measurement is still a experimental feature. That's why it's under the labs or Realme lab setting. I managed to measure my heart rate consistently several times now using different fingers and it works. It's a very interesting feature. Now we're gonna install some games and test it. Not bad. Overall, I would say that this is a rock solid phone for 2022 and for a mid-ranger, wow. You're getting so much value from the Realme 9 Pro Plus. You're getting that OIS, which is a much coveted feature from much more expensive flagship phones. You also get amazing performance and 5G as well as Wi-Fi 6, by the way. I forgot to mention if you have a Wi-Fi 6 network at home, this phone or this chipset supports Wi-Fi 6, so you're going to be able to take advantage of that speed boost that comes with Wi-Fi 6. Aesthetics is something I've never seen in other phones before. I do wish that we had the sunlight blue version instead of the Aurora green, but hey, this is not something that I'm going to be covering up anytime soon with a phone case. I would like to use this naked. You also get that amazing 6.4 inch super AMOLED display with 90 hertz high refresh rate. So at this point, I'm not entirely sure what exactly you would ask for us aside from uh, wireless charging. And speaking of charging, you get the super dark 60 watt super fast charger for this 4,500 milliamp hour battery. Apart from wireless charging, the next step I guess would be IP68 dust and waterproofing and I look forward to the day when we find those features on a Realme numbered phone. So the last question would be the price and Realme has yet to reveal the price of the Realme 9 Pro Plus and the Realme 9 Pro, but based on the prices in the launch in other regions, we're expecting that this is gonna cost you around 17 to 19,000 to 20,000 pesos. No more than 20,000, hopefully. Realme, please let this be a good value phone for Filipinos like us. So guys, if you have any questions, violent reactions, just drop them in the comment section below. There are no stupid questions. And we're gonna be, we're gonna try to answer each and every question that you send us as honest and as open as possible. We would appreciate your support by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, sharing it with your friends, hitting that bell button, you know, all that good stuff. Once again, this has been Kuya Den for Tech Kuya, and we'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Paalam! So bright.